how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to Gala Friendship. I miss you. So today I'm filming what do you do when you're bored in the house? Let's get into the video. So I just go to the pan shop and I'm using a new gimbal. I mean, not a new gimbal, I'm using a new tripod. Uh, this tripod is called, is it Manfrotto? Um, I've been using it quite a few uh, times now and I'm trying to see how good this tripod is because I want to master this camera as much as possible. Let's get into the show. So I've just noticed it's not a great idea to bring the camera out when it's raining because you know I nearly got into trouble but luckily enough I managed to get into the car on time. I will share outside uh, with you to see how horrible it is. So I'm going to the next shop. Hopefully I can get to the marina and create more content for you guys. So yeah, let's go. Please do me a little favor. Please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And also if you're a subscriber, please hit the like button, please. Let's drive. I just found a way uh, to start shooting in a car and I'll probably have to do another video how I'm shooting this uh, uh, content because there's no cameraman in the car it's just me and the car and the camera it's wet so I just thought you know it's better to show you guys how to shoot in the wet because you know actually before I even press the shutter button I have to research how to protect your gear and uh, before my travels, I'll probably have to get some camera gear because imagine if the camera go wet and you just damage your 2,000 pounds camera. So you can imagine. You know, I still don't know how to use uh, eye lines in England, you know. Probably I have to do some uh, in intensive driving course. Probably, you know, even though I passed the test, you know, I have a full license for a few years now. I still don't know how to do island. I think as time goes on, you know, I start getting better uh, with uh, using this equipment because, you know, you have to find a way to create content. And, you know, I try to create content whether it's wet, whether it's dry. I won't sit at home drinking coffee all day. I want to create content for you guys because you guys are amazing. Right, so we're here now. Let's go get some shopping. I think I need to put this camera somewhere and get the weather seal back. You know, I always have uh, this thing to clean the lens. And if you remember, uh, this content is about what do you do in the house when you bought. So I'm out here uh, getting some stuff. I'm going to do some DIY, which you guys, which you probably see shortly. Yeah, so the DIY I'm going to do is I'm going to find a space for our sunglasses because uh, we don't have enough space for them so uh, we found a solution so I'm going I'm getting tools I'm getting um, wall plugs because I'm short of wall plugs and then I'm going to get a bit of stuff in the shop and then hopefully I can uh, complete that task today 
all right so i just finished now i'm going to do my diy and i hope you enjoyed the rest of the video uh, if there's anything you want me to shoot uh, in a couple of uh, weeks coming please do let me know hello so i just finished uh, my shopping and look what i got candles gloves always for kitchen and no noodles yeah so now we're going to do diy i will show you what i'm going to do I'm actually going to flip the camera so that you can see what I've done so far. If you do like it, please do let me know in the comment section because uh, I believe a lot of people out there are looking for solutions for their glasses or for their makeup or for their lipsticks. But for me, uh, we, this is what we chose uh, to put the sunglasses in. So let me flip the camera so that I can take you closer uh, to this beautiful uh, genius idea so i started this project this morning uh, this is the end of the project you can see the sunglasses are all packed and they all level up very nicely if you really like the solution and you need some tips how to save space in the house please do let me know in the comment section let me get closer so that i can see exactly how the solution actually look like So now, since we finished the sunglass solutions, what we're going to do now, we're going to make some dinner. Uh, we're planning to make omoto, which is a Ghanaian traditional uh, food that we have on Sunday. So just enjoy this video with me. What I'm cooking actually is peanut butter soup with omoto. So omoto is like a, a traditional meal uh, where we, we do eat on Sunday. So if you're from Ghana, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you're not from Ghana, uh, we eat omoto on Sundays, Sundays only. Yeah, right, so let's cook. I'm going to wash my hand now. Uh, just make sure because I'm going to mash up this into the bowl. All right, all right, so now my hand is all washed. Just going to, just going to get the peanut butter into the bowl. I'm using two cameras, so one of them is on the bowl. So yeah, so I'll be flicking the cameras around. Um, I'm using Sony. It's actually one of my favorite food, you know. Um, I actually like it with fufu you know i'm just going to cover this because i'm cooking this for me and my missus she doesn't like spices so i need to make sure i use the tomato paste and then i'll use the chili uh, which is down here uh, for my soup so literally what i'm doing is i'll make one soup then at the finishing stage i'll divide it into two so i'll use uh, one because it's quite a lot of soup but we don't want to taste a lot of tomato in the soup I'm going to rinse uh, this uh, bit of the leftover my hand is very clean I wash my hand before I start mashing so I'm going to rinse it so you stir this uh, you stir the peanut butter you stir it till it gets I mean it starts turning into oil
with the omoto i'm going to use this stick here this is what i'm going to use so let's cook you have to stir the omoto make sure it's stop stuck together like banco and if you been to Ghana before or if you haven't been just google banco because banco is kind of like a, a, a mashed potato 